Several youngsters are the latest victims caught in Chicago's gun violence. On any given day, another killing in Chicago's inner city is considered normal. Walking down the street, you never know. It'd just be your time to go. Almost all of the violence we're seeing now is from the gangs. The violence has to stop. Among the payday loan shops, boarded up buildings, and liquor stores of Chicago's gritty south and west sides, this is a familiar sound. And this is a familiar sight. And so, more and more, is this. That was the funeral of Blair Holt. His father, Chicago police officer Ron Holt, says Chicago and cities like it are experiencing a cultural implosion. We see a lot of male black on male black violence. Most of our young men have resorted to using a firearm to resolve any type of mundane and trivial um, conflict. Almost all of the violence we're seeing now is from the gangs. Sergeant Matt Little leads one of the teams in Chicago's gang enforcement unit. There are about 200 such officers in the city versus 100,000 gang members. When there's a shooting, we'll respond to the shooting. We'll figure out where we believe the most likely area for retaliation is, and we'll work that area trying to both prevent retaliation and possibly build a case on offenders. The gangs have lost their hierarchy, right. so to speak. And without a chain of command, there's really nobody keeping things in check. And they lost their hierarchy because those guys got killed, they went to prison, or both? Both, yes. Those left are young, reckless, and often terrible shots. Instead of a bullet with somebody's name on it, you get a bullet that reads to whom it may concern. And that's how you get a little girl shot or a three-year-old Exactly. Or... I don't know where to begin to pick up the pieces. The night that they did it, I was mad as hell. I'm not going to lie. But when I saw their face, it made me sick. I almost threw up. It made me sick because I have an 18-year-old son. I forgive them. 258 people have been killed on this city streets, 38% more than at the same time last year, most by gunfire in Chicago's poor black neighborhoods. It's angered Chicago politicians. Take your gang conflict away from a seven-year-old. Who raised you? She's just another example of a failed urban policy.